Hi, I'm Emily Clevenger, and welcome to the Donald P. Belisario College of Communications Spend a Summer Day event, live from our Center County Report Studios. We are so excited for the opportunity to introduce you to our college, our majors, and the many opportunities available to you. Throughout our presentation, we'd love to hear from you. Please send us any questions or comments that you might have via the number on the screen below. Please feel free to text at any point in our presentation and we will be sure to answer your questions at the end. We would also love the chance to share some important information with you. If you would like to receive a packet of information from the Belisario College, please text your first and last name and we will be sure to send you a packet in the mail. And now to get started, let's hear from the Dean of the Belisario College, Marie Hardin. Hi. My name is Marie Hardin, and I'm Dean of the Donald P. Belisario College of Communications here at Penn State. Thank you so much for spending a summer day with us. And I know you come to us with many different reasons for wanting to learn more. Perhaps you've heard about our award-winning programs and our strong reputation across all of our majors. Perhaps you've heard about our co-curricular programs that put our students in strong positions to succeed, getting hands-on experience and making lifelong friendships. Perhaps you're joining us because you want to learn more about our powerful career and internship services. And perhaps you're joining us because you've heard about our incredible community of faculty and staff ready to serve you. Well, whatever your reason is, I think you're going to be excited at the end of the day. I want you to pay attention to two themes throughout the day, two things that you're going to hear over and over and over again. The first one is this, that we are a program that offers big school resources, but yet that small school feel where you're going to feel right at home as you work with our faculty in the classroom and in the field. The second thing I want you to pay attention to is what we call the three C's, and that's our formula for success for all of our students. Those three C's are class, campus, and career. Our classes are small, and we give you the one-on-one -on -one attention to help you meet your goals. Campus opportunities will surround you. Those are opportunities to work in student media, join student clubs, and participate in a number of co-curricular activities that give you real world experience. And finally, career. I know that many of you come to us with hopes and dreams for the career that you want. Our job is to help you reach those goals and dreams. And we have an internships and careers office that will help you do just that. Again, thank you so much for joining us today, and I look forward to meeting you here at Penn State. Dean Harden is absolutely right. We work hard to provide big school resources and a small school feel. We pride ourselves on being one of the largest ACE JMC accredited programs of mass communications in the country. This means that we can offer students the outstanding big school resources that come along with being Penn State. Resources like our own TV studios, our own radio studios and film studios, our own newspaper and magazine, and so many other great resources. You don't get to have these great resources without first being a big school. However, the Belisario College is one of the smaller academic units on campus with less than 3,000 students. This means that we get to offer that small school feel that is so important to student success. We will get to know you and you will get to know your professor and to you will get to take advantage of the many hands-on classroom experiences. Providing big school resources with a small school feel means that the Belisario College is ready for you. We're excited to get to know you, and we're prepared to support you throughout your Penn State journey. 
One of the best examples of our big school resources is our new Belisario Media Center. Now is a very exciting time to be joining our college because we are set to open the doors of our new media center in the spring of 2021. Let's take a look at some of the great places on campus where our students call home. What's up everybody? My name is Antonio, I'm a senior here at Penn State studying journalism, and we're right here in front of Carnegie Building. So if you look that way, that's downtown State College. Now if you look that way, that's a library. It's a nice quiet place to study, you know what I'm saying? It's got a bunch of materials in there for you, a bunch of other cool stuff besides books too. You probably wonder why is this building so important? Well, this building is so important because there's a lot of history. From 1904 to 1940, it was Penn State's first library. And it also housed Penn State's fire department and the blue band at one point. It's a great location that's right in the middle of campus. The hub's right around the corner that way, and the new Belisario Media Center is going to be right across the street. Hi, my name is Helena, and I'm a sophomore majoring in advertising and public relations. As you can see, things are still under construction at the Belisario Media Center. It will be completed in the fall semester with classes and studios moving into the space for the spring. Students who come to Penn State next year will be the first ones to spend their entire career in the media center. Com Agency and Com Radio will be housed here, as will the Media Effects Research Laboratory. The equipment room for students to check out cameras and other gear will be here too. It has something for students in every major and encourages collaboration with big open spaces and team meeting rooms. It includes radio studios, voiceover booths, TV studios, and a film studio. Everything will be in one state-of-the-art building. Hi guys, I'm Gina. I'm a senior majoring in broadcast journalism, and this is the classroom and studio for the Center County Report. Students work throughout the week to produce a newscast that wins awards every year. We cover news and sports on campus, as well as stories throughout Center County. We also use the same software and cameras as many network affiliates across the country. It's a great hands-on experience. We rotate between assignments on air as well as directing and producing behind the camera. Our faculty and staff have experience in major market news stations across the country and really motivate us to be the best of the best. We produce two completely remote newscasts from our homes all across the country. Accomplishing that was a great feeling and is one of the many reasons why the Center County Report was my favorite part of my Penn State experience. With the opening of this new collaborative space, it's clear to see that we're focused on student success. In order to help our students navigate their Penn State experience, the Belisario College uses a proven 3C formula. The first C to student success is classroom instruction. The education that we are providing will build the foundation of your career. Our professors come from a variety of academic and industry backgrounds and provide hands-on classroom experiences. Communications courses are capped at 20 or fewer students to ensure outstanding resources and support. Next up in our 3C formula is campus media opportunities. So much of what we're doing happens outside of the classroom in student-run clubs and organizations. It is so important that we are providing students with an avenue to create and to explore. This is exactly what's happening in clubs and organizations across campus. The third and most important C in our formula to success is career preparation. This is such an important piece of the puzzle that the Belisario College has its own Office of Internships and Career Placement. This great office is working to provide students opportunities for internships and investing in student success by preparing you to launch a successful career after graduation. Now let's take a moment to dive a little deeper into each of those three C's. Classroom instruction is the first step for every student, but what exactly are we teaching in our classrooms? The Belisario College of Communications offers five majors. The first and the largest major is advertising and public relations. This is one major and students have the chance to specialize in either advertising or public relations. Students in this major are preparing for careers in business, communications, and mass media related fields. When talking about this major, I like to compare it to other majors offered at Penn State, majors like marketing and graphic design. 
we take that research and that business acumen that is part of marketing and we take that creative side of graphic design and, and we meet them in the middle and we add the communications element that is so important. Our next major is journalism. Journalism has three tracks that students can choose from. Our first track is photojournalism. These students want to tell a story through photography. We also have broadcast journalism. And these are the students that want to be seen and heard. They want to be in front of the camera and behind the microphone. We also have print and digital journalism. This is the more traditional form of journalism that you think of that is focused on storytelling. What's most important to know about our journalism curriculum is that we are growing and changing in exciting new ways. Journalism is no longer simply writing for the newspaper. Journalism has transformed and is part of many multimedia platforms. And we are working to prepare our journalism students to enter many different types of exciting careers. Our next major is film production. These students are an innovative group. They want to hold that camera in their hand and create, and we let them do just that. Students are participating in the full creative process from coming up with ideas and writing screenplays into operating the equipment and into post-production. Students have an opportunity to take a look at three different types of film, including narrative film, documentary film, and alternative film. Students are working in full feature length film, they're working in television, and they're creating video content for websites and social media. Next on our list of majors is telecommunications and media industries. I like to think of this as our business major, focusing on the business of taking all of the moving working pieces and putting them together for a cohesive, clear communications. These students tend to take the director or producer role. This major encompasses a wide variety of media, including radio and TV broadcasting, cable and satellite, internet, and mobile devices. Students can choose from three tracks in the major, including law and policy, management and entrepreneurship, or programming and production. Now our fifth and final major is media studies. This is our research and teaching major. Students are taking a finer look at how does the media affect society? How does society affect the media? How are we using the media as a platform for advocacy? There are several tracks within media studies, including media effects, international communications, film and television studies, and society and culture. After hearing about our majors, maybe you have one of these majors in mind as the right path for you. Great, we will help you refine and achieve your goals. Or maybe more than one of these majors sound interesting to you, but you're unsure which is the right major for you. Here's what I want you to know. It's okay to not know. It's okay to not have your path mapped out at this point. You have lots of time. In the Belisario College, there are so many people and resources that are going to help you figure it all out. Now here to talk with you about all of the important resources that you will be using to build and achieve your goals is the Assistant Dean of Diversity and Inclusion, Gary Abdullah. Hi, Gary. Hi, Emily. Hello, everyone. As Emily mentioned, my name is Gary Abdullah, and I am the Assistant Dean of Diversity and Inclusion here in the Belisario College. My office, along with the Academic Advising Office and the Office of Career and Internship Services, is dedicated to the support and ultimate success of every Belisario student. Today, I want to give you a little more insight into these valuable student resources. To start, here's a message from our Assistant Dean of Academic Services, Jamie Perry. Hello, I'm Jamie Perry, Assistant Dean for Academic Services in the Belisario College of Communications. Our Office of Academic Services is responsible for helping students navigate the Penn State system and make the most of their Penn State education. We're here to help you with academic planning, looking at opportunities away from University Park, and simply to help you make the most of your experience so when it's time to go out into the professional world, you're ready. Jamie said it best. 
when he said the academic advising team is here to help you accomplish all of your Penn State goals. I always tell the students I work with that your academic advisor is your first and most important college relationship. Advisors will help you schedule courses, explore your major, plan to study abroad, or even learn how to join the John Curley Center for Sports Journalism. Whatever you're looking to achieve, they're here to help guide you. We work hard to create an environment that's comfortable and welcoming to all students so that you can feel secure enough to ask for help during your Penn State journey. The most important piece of advice that I can give you when you meet with your advisor is to be open and honest. If math isn't your best subject, tell us. We can work to select courses that will match your skill set. If you aren't sure what your major or minor should be, tell us. We can make suggestions that will help you explore the many options available to you here at Penn State. Now, my office, the Office of Diversity and Inclusion, is here to help students have the best college experience possible. We know that a college can be a wonderful time in your life, but it can also be a journey full of ups and downs. We're here to help you navigate those experiences. Think of it this way. The advising office is here to help you manage and navigate your academic life. The career and internship office is here to put you in the best position possible to find employment when you graduate. There's a lot of life stuff to work out in between those two points. The Office of Diversity and Inclusion is prepared to help you do that. Whether you need help with situations inside or outside of the classroom, we are here to provide a listening ear and thoughtful guidance. We want to see our students not only survive, but thrive during their time as a Belisario student. Our goal is to make sure that each student, no matter how you identify, Move on from Penn State feeling that you are a member of the Belisario College family. And now let's talk about that second C that Emily mentioned earlier, campus media opportunities. We're referring to the student-run clubs and organizations that provide you a chance to discover your major. The Belisario College has over 30 communication-specific clubs like Com Radio, PSN TV, the Student Film Organization, Ad Club, Valley Magazine, and so many more. We strongly encourage students to join these campus media opportunities starting in the very first week of your Penn State experience. Additionally, we encourage you to participate in non-communications clubs as well. There are over 1,000 possible organizations for you to join. You could join the Kickball Club, Student Government, THON, Comedy Club, anything. And if for some reason the club you want doesn't already exist, it's not overly complicated to get a new organization started. Getting involved is a great way to begin to build your resume and to build your network. Our goal in all that we do is to help our students find those experiences that are meaningful to help shape their goals and to invest into the success of our students' post-graduation lives. Now to talk to you a little bit more about investing in student success is Assistant Dean of Internships and Career Placement, Bob the Dreammaker Martin. Hi, my name is Bob Martin, Assistant Dean for Internships and Careers here in the Belisario College of Communications. Excited to share with you all the great things we have going on in our internship and career side of the college. Let's start off with talking about internships. We have a database of over 4,100 different opportunities that we have to share with every student in our college. They're all over the world, literally. And that's just the start of what we can share with our students. We're constantly getting new opportunities from alumni and professionals that we're connected to in the business. How do we share those opportunities with our students? Typically through our email listserv. Every day we are sending out five to ten opportunities to our students. If you're an underclassman, you're receiving internships only. If you're an upperclassman, you're receiving internship opportunities, but also full-time opportunities. These are just a few of the things we provide. Resume workshops, internship workshops, cover letter workshops, mock interviewing, even an etiquette dinner, a four 
course meal to share with our students how to handle themselves at a business luncheon or dinner. To top it all off, we have not one, not two, but three communications specific internship career fairs. One down in DC in November called Calm Careers in the Capital. Very excited about that opportunity. Uh, we will literally take our students down to DC. We're maybe virtual this year. And we're excited about that opportunity. It's our third year of doing that. And then our Heritage Internship Career Fair here on campus called jobexpo.com.com for communications. And we'll have upwards of 80 companies at the hub we're virtually for our students. And then to cap it all off, in March, in New York City, we're virtual. Success in the city, our 17th year of putting on that behemoth of an internship career fair that's communications focus. So whatever your interests are, whether you wanna be in Pennsylvania or in the Pennsylvania area, or you wanna be in DC, or you wanna be in New York with a national or global company, we provide the opportunities to our students. We hope you'll join us. Take care, you'll hear more about these programs later. That was a great introduction to a very important office. Bob shared so much of what his office does to support student success. The first step for every student to engage with Bob's office is to begin your internship search. We will support students seeking internships as soon as you're ready. For most students, this is during the summer between your first and your second year. <clears throat> We also want you to have multiple internship experiences throughout your time here. Internships can take place on campus during the school year or in a variety of locations over the summer. The Belisario College also offers two formal internship opportunities that happen off campus, the Hollywood program and the Washington DC program. These programs offer you the opportunity to live and work in either city for the full semester. While you're there, you're guaranteed a full-time internship placement, you carry a full schedule of communications courses, and you will participate in networking events. The Hollywood and DC program are excellent opportunities for you to gain valuable real-world experience. In his introduction, Bob also mentioned the three communication-specific job fairs that we put on. These job fairs have been so successful year after year in putting our students in front of the employers of their dreams. Companies like ESPN, NBC Universal, Edelman PR, Sinclair Broadcasting, AccuWeather, Discovery, Fox, MLB Network, and so many other employers are recruiting Penn State students. The ability of this office to provide so many great opportunities for our students is what makes the Belisario College stand out among our competitors. Now we could take up so much more time talking about all of the exciting opportunities that we are working to provide to you, but we want to take a moment and hear from you. We want to know what questions that you have on your mind after hearing a little bit more about our college. If you haven't submitted a question yet, please feel free to text your question to the number below. Uh, but before we get to your questions, I want to take a moment to encourage you to join us again at three o'clock today. We will be joined by several of our current students and you can find us via the Zoom link in the description below. There is no better voice to understand where you'll fit at Penn State than hearing from current students. We will have students available for you to meet who will be sharing their Penn State and Belisario stories. This will be an open and interactive Q&A format, so we hope to see you there. Now it's time to take a look at some of the questions that were submitted. Great, so our first question, Gary, I'm gonna turn to you. A, question a student asks, I'm interested in sports. Do you offer any opportunities to work with Penn State teams? That's an excellent question. Here at Penn State, we have one of the largest intercollegiate athletics programs in the nation. And so naturally, in the world of media, we have a wide variety of opportunities for our students to interact with those programs. So when you arrive on campus, you will have the opportunity to be involved in possibly applying for an internship. But even if you're not working directly with the programs, we have several things available through our student club organizations. Things that I mentioned before, such as PSN TV and Com Radio, cover all of our sports teams here at the university. 
And so if you would like an opportunity to have hands-on experience right away, we have that chance for you here in the Belisario College. Great. Our next question I will answer. The question reads, do I need to list a major on my application when applying to Penn State? That is a great question, and it's a question I get a lot. Students can apply to Penn State in several different ways. If you've heard about the majors we listed today and you know exactly what it is you want to do, great. List that major, whether it's journalism or film or any of our other opportunities, list that on your application. Or maybe you're not sure what your major should be, but you know you belong in the Belisario College. We can't wait to have you. So simply list the Belisario College as your academic area of interest, and that means you will belong to the Belisario College at the very beginning of your Penn State experience. Thanks for the question. Emily, I have one here. How soon can I get hands-on experience inside the classroom? That's another great question. It is very important to our students that we are providing opportunities to get hands-on equipment, to get hands-on experience inside their major from the very beginning of your college journey. So clubs and organizations that we spoke so much about that Gary talked about today, that's going to be your first stop to really gain some experience and some understanding of what it is your major actually is. Clubs and organizations are going to be a great way for you to, to discover, yes, I picked the right major. This is what I want to do. Or it might be an opportunity for you early on to discover that maybe your major wasn't exactly what you thought it was, and it's not going to be a great fit. We're going to help you pivot, and we're going to help you find the right major. Now, hands-on experience in the classroom starts early as well. Primarily, the student experience at Penn State is you'll be working on general education courses in your first three semesters. Now, students will declare their major typically in the spring semester of their sophomore year, and you'll see the flip after that, and that most of your courses are going to be communication-centric and providing those excellent opportunities inside the classroom. Thanks for that question. We have another question here that I feel comfortable taking. Can I double major in the College of Communications? That's a great question. It makes sense that you would want to take advantage of the wonderful opportunities that we have available here inside the Belisario College. Unfortunately, we're not able to allow students to double major in our academic college, but we do encourage them to double major outside of the Belisario College. For instance, if you are a student who is considering journalism, but you want to round out your linguistic profile. Maybe you want to take up another major um, of a different language, perhaps Spanish, perhaps French. There are a lot of different opportunities and we have students that do that as well. In addition to that, inside the College of Communications, we have a wide variety of minors that you can become involved with to help supplement your major education. We have a wide variety of students who have interests that go from many different fields. So we work with our academic advisors very closely to help guide them into different realms that they can do anything they want to do and accomplish their ultimate goals and their ultimate dreams. So while we can't allow double majors inside the college, we can still get you your ultimate educational experience here in the Belisario College. Great question. So next question I'll read, and I'm going to ask Gary to answer this one. The question reads, can you please highlight and talk a little bit more about the diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives within the college? That's an excellent question. That's right up my alley right here. Um, there are a wide variety of things that we are doing inside of the college. First of all, for myself, even though there are wide, uh, many things that are on my plate, I make sure that my office is available to students every single day. So every day I'm available to meet with students from nine to 12 each and every single day. You can go onto the Starfish format, which is how people set up appointments with us and make half hour appointment slots with me. That way, if there are any questions or anything you may be experiencing, whether it be inside or outside of the college, we can help you with that. In addition to that, there are several clubs and organizations that are help, ha happening on the campus itself. Everything from different affinity groups, such as Black Caucus, Latino Caucus. There are different LGBTQA clubs as well. 
In addition to that, we are opening up some affinity groups inside the Belisario College of Communications this year. We're looking to open up different chapters of NABJ, NAHJ, AAJA, and name it. Um, those are a lot of uh, letters that I just put at you, but you're a very smart individual, so I'm gonna let you Google all that and figure exa exactly what I'm talking about. But when you arrive here, we hope to have you here as part of Penn State because it is my goal and the goal of the entire committee to make sure that you are feeling a part of what Penn State has to offer and what Belisario College has to offer. Great, thanks Gary. I'm gonna take the next question. Arda, thank you for submitting. You wanna know, can you double major with colleges other than the College of Communications? Specifically, you have an interest in the Smeal College of Business and maybe entrepreneurship. Yes, students can double major across campus. There are so many combinations of students to, to, to have concurrent majors. Um, the Smeal College of Business offer, off, also offers several minors that pair very well with our college. Um, sometimes students will seek that business acumen to pair with their communications degree from the College of Liberal Arts. They execute a business liberal arts degree. Um, the entrepreneurship program that you're referencing is very cool. So entrepreneurship exists at Penn State in many different forms. You can take entrepreneurship in engineering, entrepreneurship in business, or entrepreneurship in communications. So depending on what exactly it is that, that you're, which direction you're looking to take your career, yes, you will find that there is no such thing as a one-size-fits-all education at Penn State. We love that we are big. It means we're good at lots of things, okay? So it means that we have the opportunity to work with you one-on-one -on -one and figure out what double major is going to be the best for, fit for you, what major minor pairing. Maybe we're adding a certificate, something that the SMEAL College offers or the Communications College offers. So there are so many combinations that will get you to your end result. It's so important to work with your academic advisor to explore these great opportunities and eventually execute them. Our next question, um, I'm gonna let Gary answer this question. Gary, can students take more than one internship? That's an excellent question. We encourage all of our students to take advantage of as many internships as possible. Honestly speaking, if you can walk out of here with three solid internships along with the in-classroom learning that you will have, you will have best prepared yourself to be the best professional possible. Now we have some students who are very industrious and they will have internships from year one all the way through year four, sometimes multiple internships a year. I say all that to say we do not limit you on the amount of internship opportunities that you can take advantage of. If you can imagine it and you can obtain it, we will support you in it. So please, when you come here, make sure that you are focused on those opportunities as well and take advantage of as many internships as possible. Great, our next question is concerning abroad opportunities. You wanna travel, and so how can you do that through Penn State? Penn State offers so many opportunities for you to travel and experience abroad. The Office of Global Programs offers over 140 countries in our study abroad programs. So I can assure you, wherever it is that you'd like to go, there is a group of Penn Staters going there. Additionally, the Belisario College will offer opportunities to travel. Um, think courses like international reporting. Of course, we need to get our students outside of campus and abroad to experience that great curriculum. We also offer embedded courses. These are very exciting opportunities to travel and execute communication specific projects. You enroll in an embedded course for the first part of the semester, you, you do all of your research, you begin to plan and prepare for your trip, and then you study abroad with your class, with your professor for an abbreviated period, only about two weeks. Then when you come home to end the semester, that's your opportunity to refine, to edit, to polish, and to publish your project. I think we have time for one more question and Gary, I will let you answer it. Right. Um, let's see, they write, when I come to Penn State, how soon can I get my hands on equipment? Excellent question. 
there are a variety of institutions that will have a student possibly wait until their sophomore, maybe even their junior year. Here at Penn State, we want you hands-on right away. So as we mentioned several times, the student clubs and organizations give you the opportunity to do that. Whether it be uh, being involved with PSN TV from the very first moment that you are here on campus or Com Radio. We want you to be from the very first week when we have that first uh, club fair in which you get to see all the different opportunities that are available to students. We want you to find those opportunities that are available to you and that interest you and make sure that you go out and obtain them because from day one, we want you behind the camera or on some type of equipment. I wanna thank you all for the great questions and thank you so much for joining us during Spend a Summer Day. We hope that our presentation was able to get you excited about the opportunities that are available to you. Now, Gary tried to wrap it up there, but I just got a last minute question that I wanna answer from my friend Alpha. Thanks for watching Alpha, glad you're here. He wants to know, do the different sectors in the College of Communications tend to work together? Absolutely. This goes back to our small school feel. So the work and I do that I do in recruiting great students like you, Alpha, to come to our to our our summer camps and then eventually become Penn State students. Um, I like to think that I get to, to hand you off once you get here. I'm going to hand you off to academic advising. You should never be on your Penn State journey by yourself. Gary mentioned that that is going to be the most important relationship that you build in college, is that relationship you have with your academic advisor. They're going to answer so many questions and, and open so many opportunities and for, for new and exciting adventures at Penn State that you've never even considered. And then along the way, Gary's office is going to be here to help with all of the life stuff that happens in between. And then eventually, once we've got some, some knowledge under your belt and that solid foundation built for you, we're going to pass you off to Bob Martin's office, and he's going to help you land those very important internship opportunities and get you a, get you a job after graduation. It is so important that we are investing in your success. And that means that we all have to work together. That means that you're going to meet the dean and she's going to know your name. And you are going to walk through the halls of the Carnegie Building and people are going to know who you are because we work together to make sure that students are transitioning through their Penn State journey in a, in a positive way. Thank you for that question. This will wrap up our presentation today, but I want to encourage you to stay in touch. Stay in touch by following us on social media, by visiting our website, scheduling a one-on-one -on -one appointment to learn more, and reach out via email. Know that we are ready for you. We are excited to get to know you, and we're prepared to support you throughout your Penn State journey. Again, thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you later this afternoon. Thank <laughs> you.